Hey y'all, Christy here. It is Saturday, November 5th, 2022. I am coming on to do my accountability check-in. Today was another win for me. I completed all five of my critical tasks. Um, I am about to do my five um, affirmations. I got a little behind. I went to one of my friend's daughter's wedding. It was beautiful. Spent some time with them and enjoyed myself. Even though it was a celebration, I still drank my water and stayed true to my challenge. So that's, you know, a plus. It wasn't easy, but you know, I did what I had to do, put myself in an uncomfortable situation. I don't stop living because I'm doing this challenge. I'm learning to incorporate this challenge into my life. So I'm not sitting at home just drinking water, doing my exercises and reading my book and not going out and experiencing life. I'm still experiencing life. I'm just learning how to adapt it to meet my challenge goals. So I did that. I will have my affirmations posted by the time it's time to go to bed before midnight but um while i was at the wedding um i had someone come up to me and said that they watched my videos some of them not all of them but some of them and that they really connected with my video about um being the author of your own story telling your own story writing your own story, that no one else has control over writing what you do and how you feel, but you. So you tell your own story. And, you know, and it, sh it was just, I don't know, it just moved me to know that my rambling sometimes actually is making a difference in somebody's life. And it's opening their eyes and it just really warms my heart because you know i i hope that's what i'm doing and you know sometimes when i'm sitting here staring at this camera i don't i don't intend to be doing that but i i'm glad when someone tells me that something i said or something i've done means a lot to them and it's helped them because you know like I said, I can't help anyone until I help myself. And so right now I'm only focused on helping myself, but it is great when someone tells you that you are helping them. It just warms my heart because that's ultimately what I'm going to do, but I'm just working on myself now. And so it, it really meant a lot to me and I'm glad I'm helping, you know, because that's ultimately my goal is hopefully by putting myself out there and and trying to help myself, it'll give someone else the courage to help themselves as well. Um, so I wanna talk about how I'm helping myself. Like I said, I'm doing the 75 fire challenge and I haven't really said much about it other than the five critical tasks but I want to give you a little bit of insight into it why I chose this challenge. So I found it was interesting because there were three things that you need to figure out if, in order to pursue this challenge. So if you're considering doing this challenge, you need to sit and think about these three things before you even begin it. The first thing is you need to know that there's never gonna be the perfect time. So I know a lot of people say, okay, I'll wait till the new year or after the holidays when things are less chaotic to start something like maybe a new diet program or a new exercise program. It always makes sense to start it fresh and new. And this program says there is never going to be a perfect time. Like ideally, this is the most difficult time for me to start a challenge but I jumped in and I did it because there's no use in me stopping. What is a few months gonna change? 
I that's why I jumped in and said I'm all in right at this time knowing it was going to be during birthdays and holidays and my own birthday and just the craziest time of the year instead of waiting until January 1 until all that had passed I was okay with starting this challenge because like it says there's no perfect time to start something new or something hard the other thing it tells you that you need to consider is that you need to know that you're going to have to master the monotonous so you're going to have to be okay with doing the same same five things every single day for the next 75 days there's no deviations there's no compromises there's no substitutions there's no tailoring this challenge to your to whatever fits your life otherwise it's not the challenge it is 75 hard it is not 75 medium or or whatever five tasks that you want no it's the same five tasks every single day and it's boring it's not exciting i mean after doing it 19 days there's no excitement you know you know exactly what you have to accomplish every single day and so you have to be okay with that because you know most people like to do things that are easy that are fun and you're willing to go along with those things but when you realize okay i gotta wake up and do the exact same five things it's not fun anymore and it's not um exciting it's just boring you know you're gonna wake up and you're gonna read your 10 pages you're gonna drink a gallon of water you're gonna have to go to the bathroom forty-five thousand times a day and you're going to exercise twice a day even when you're sore and you're tired and you don't feel like it or it's cold and it's rainy outside it's not fun it's hard so you know you have to be okay with mastering that and doing the same thing every single day for the next 75 days and then the last thing that you have to consider before you jump all in with this challenge is what is your purpose for pursuing mental toughness like why why do you want to put yourself through this what do you want to accomplish by it and so I'm going to share with you why I chose this challenge what why I'm pursuing mental toughness well like I said I want to become the best version of myself I want to achieve personal excellence not for anyone but myself I like I said I am my worst critic I'm my worst enemy I want to move away from that. I want to become a better version of myself, the very best version of myself. I want to stop trying to be perfect, even though I'm not perfect, but I have this vision and this idea of what perfection needs to look like. And if I don't do that, or if I don't achieve that, then I'm so hard on myself. Nothing is ever okay for me. You know, I am always nitpicking everything I do. And so I want to free myself from that. I want to be okay with not having everything perfect or not having all the right things to say or not knowing every answer. I want to be okay with my flaws. I want to accept them and laugh at them and, you know, be carefree. I don't want to be chained by it or put in my box that I put myself into in my comfort zone I want to be challenged I want to um, be afraid you know of the unknown I don't want to always have to know what's coming up you know I want like I said I want to burn the box that's that's my goal that, that is why I'm doing this I want to be able to burn that box I don't ever want to go back to that comfort zone you know, because that comfort zone is complacency. It's it's being okay with not venturing out of out of that that comfort level. It's not exploring things. It's not fulfilling my purpose. And that's the reason why I'm doing this because I want to be free. I want to pursue what I've always felt in my heart that I need to pursue 
and I've always been afraid to do it. So, you know, that is why I want to be mentally tough. I want to be okay with being, criticizing myself and saying, oh, okay, yeah, okay, I made a mistake or I, I didn't do it perfectly and that's okay. Or I didn't get around to doing laundry. Oh, big deal. I'm not sitting there stressing and worrying about things. So that was my main reason why I want, wanted to do this challenge and I, why I'm pursuing mental toughness is because I want to be able to roll with the punches. I don't want to get knocked down and stay down or, you know, let me be in, or let fear put me back in that box because my goal is to burn the box and there's no box to run to. So, you know, that's why I'm choosing this challenge. And, you know, I, I, I challenge you to ask yourself these questions. Not even that you have to do this challenge, but just think about it yourself. I'm challenging you to ask yourself these three questions. Just in general, not even to have to do this challenge because it's not for everyone, trust me. It is, it, it is hard, it is very hard. And it's exhausting. And, you know, it's so easy just to say it's too hard, you know, and listen to that voice inside your head that says, okay, you're, you know, you've done 19 days of this. All right. You know, you proved your point. No, you know, you're, you're good. You don't have to keep going. So, you know, it's, it's just, it is hard. And, you know, I'm only 19 days in and... It, I'm sure it's going to get harder. So, you know, I just want you to think about it for yourself. You know, are you happy? You know, is there something that you feel like you're missing? Or were you meant for more? Were you destined to do something else than what you're doing right now? So, have you become the person that you've envisioned yourself? Um, the second thing I want you to do to think about is have you accomplished all you envisioned that you were going to accomplish and if you haven't then what else is there that you're that, that you're desperately wishing to have accomplished that you haven't yet and then the other thing I want you to think about is what is it that you really need you know I ask myself this quite often, you know. I have many blessings and I'm grateful for them. And, but what do I really need? Are they possessions or is it something else? You know, what, you know, I, I have, lots of things that I love and enjoy but is it what I really need you know that's what I'm hoping to discover in this challenge I've got the love I've got happiness but what am I missing what is that that little voice that's still calling that my purpose that's I need I know my purpose but what do I need to do in order to accomplish that purpose. So, you know, that's just a little bit of some things that are going on in my head and that continue to go on in my head that I don't quite have the answers for yet. You know, I see the bigger picture. I just need to figure, like I've said multiple times, how to get to that picture. And, you know, this challenge is going to help me get there because it's going to cause me to dig deep and and figure it all out. But I want to go ahead and end this post with my quote. It is, I don't fear the man who has performed a thousand kicks one time, but the man who has performed one kick a thousand times. And that's by Bruce Lee, which to me, that's very deep. You know, I, it's okay. Yes, you may have done a thousand kicks one time, 
but if you've taken the time to only pick out one skill and perform it a thousand times, you become the expert. So of course I'm gonna fear that person because that person has honed in on that one skill so that they have mastered it. And it's, it's become second nature. They can just do it in their sleep. So yes, I would be more afraid of that. But I am going to relax now, get out of these clothes and into some comfy clothes. So remember, you can do it. I believe in you. You matter. Become a champion. Delete regrets, hit reset, and unleash your new mindset. Have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.